Hey guys, welcome to my first Get Ready With Me video. Last weekend, I went out dancing and got to see the producer and DJ duo Fakus and Darwin. So if you wanna see how I turned into this, just keep watching. So first things first is the outfit, and an embarrassing amount of time actually goes into planning and picking out what I'm gonna wear, and there's no way to really show you guys that, so I just figured I'd show you me putting it on. This one is a little bit on the simple side. Um, I just opted for a bodysuit and um, a whatever you call sports bra thing. And I actually had to pin this, which I'm showing you, and this was really hard. Um, but it's because it's, they're two like slippery materials and so they wouldn't stay up together. Um, then it is socks, which is always necessary. I don't think I've ever just had like bare legs before. And usually I have garter straps and I opted just for socks this time. Of course, got accessorize. Um, I have a few bondage belts and this is um, maybe my favorite one. Um, the only thing is you can't actually loop it into belt loops and these shorts don't have belt loops anyway, so I gotta pin them. Just because when you're dancing around you don't want it to go all over the place and so now it stays. Woohoo! And we're done getting dressed. Next up is hair and it usually depends on what my hairstyle is, whether I do my hair first or my makeup first. And since I decided to do pigtails, um, that meant that my hair would be out of my face and that would be easier for me to do my makeup and so I'm doing my hair first. So I decided to go with pigtails with this one. Um, I think they're super cute, they're fun, and they're bouncy, and most importantly, they keep your hair out of your face when you're dancing. As you can probably gather by how fast I had to speed this up, I am very slow at putting in pigtails, just because I'm pretty bad at getting all of the hair smoothed down and together. I don't know about you guys, but pigtails are kind of hard. Do you guys struggle with it too? Let me know, because I don't want to feel as bad as I do about it right now. And hair is done. Finally. Now on to makeup. The first product I use is a BB cream from Micha, number 13. And I just use a basic foundation brush, and I use about that much. I just kind of put it on my face. I don't use concealer because I don't know how. I'm actually really bad at makeup, you guys. Um, try not to take anything I do as me saying it's the right way to do things. I just kind of throw it all together. Most of the products that I have is from e.l.f. because I'm cheap ass and uh, I kind of don't don't really care know what I'm doing. So just, just stay warned, just stay warned, you know? Just take it with a grain of salt that I don't know what I'm doing. Then I do my eyebrows with a little brush and with black. Um, this is probably the biggest instance of me not knowing exactly how to do a certain makeup thing. Just my eyebrows. I've never really figured it out. All I do is just kind of fill them in with black because that's my hair color, right? That's what you do. I don't know. It works. I don't think it looks super horrible, so I just kind of do it and whatever. Just because I feel like if I don't fill them in, it looks weird. And if I fill them in with a different color, it looks weird, and so I just use black, and I just try not to make it too bold and whatever. It's, it works, who cares? After that, I use powder, and this is e.l.f.'s High Definition Translucent Powder. Um, I like it just because it kind of, it just kind of mats everything down, and it feels comfy, and I do it after my eyebrows just to give the BB cream kind of time to dry and like get into my skin. Now that all the face stuff is done, time to move on to the eyes. And first thing, just basic eyeliner, pencil, and black, of course. Water break. I gotta stay hydrated, yo. Okay, so I decided to go with a silvery white mix to match the top that I'm wearing in my outfit. And this is just a basic eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. I don't remember where the palette came from that I'm using for my eyes just because all the information rubbed off, so sorry that I can't give you guys that. Um, it's really shitty anyway, so you wouldn't want to buy it. I just use it because it's the only thing I have. And so now I'm putting that silvery part on the outside part of my lid. I was going for a smoky eye, and I was kind of just winging it. That's what I always do with my makeup. I have a basic idea, but it just kind of happens. 
Um, don't use a lot of special techniques. Oh, I have switched brushes. This is just a basic brush too. Gotta use black. And I actually fucked up really bad and I cut that out because I didn't want to show you. But um, I'm just putting it kind of around everything. And I always go underneath because it looks cool. I don't know. I'm super not technical about this, you guys. I'm sorry. But it's coming together. This is a blending brush from e.l.f. that I use. Gotta check it, make sure it looks good. Use a different lighting. Yeah. Next up is eyeliner. Um, this is my favorite eyeliner, or one of, um, from e.l.f. Just the cream, black. Came with this brush, liner brush. Usually I do a really thick eyeliner wing. But with this one, since I have I have a silver, I didn't want to cover it up and make it go away since I have hooded lids. So I just went with a basic one with a little tiny wing at the end and it worked out. I thought it was kind of cute. Nice little accent. Then I fucked up and forgot to press record when I did the top lashes, which I use Scandalize by Rimmel London for, and for the bottom lashes I use Waterproof Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara from e.l.f. Then I use this setting spray from e.l.f. just for fun, and we're done with makeup. And this is the final look. Let me know what you guys think. Then just gotta add finishing touches, like my boots. Hell yeah, Des Moines, always, platform boots, dancing shoes, then collar, always wear that too, necessary. And this fun part, putting on the candy, and Jesus Christ, I'm so bad at it, you guys. Like, it takes me forever, and I was an idiot and put my cuff on first, when I should've just put on my singles, but I didn't think about it, and, uh, but, I don't know, they're pretty, so I do it. It just takes a long time and I'm particular and I like move them around when it doesn't fucking matter and they all slide down anyway, whatever. Okay, I'll, I'll shut up, I'll shut up. Oh my God, this takes forever. Feel free to just like skip ahead in the video. It really doesn't matter. It's kind of fun. Ugh. It's, it took me like five minutes in real life, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's a lot. It's a lot, you guys. And then these are something that with my collar I wear every single time. Just little fishnet gloves. I don't know why. They're like they're like my comfort thing. But we're done. Haha. -ha. Finally. Look at it go. And so this is the final product and you get to see me kind of dance around awkwardly and try to fit my whole body into the frame and it doesn't work, but you guys get the idea. Um Yeah. Dance around. Super fun. Woo! So I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me. I'll probably do more of these in the future. Make sure to subscribe and feel free to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!